Now for donning and doffing. So if you ever get confused, remove the Ds and it's just on and off for your PPE. So to keep it super simple, we only have four elements. First things first is the gown for donning or putting stuff on. So Kat here is gonna demonstrate. All right, now for the handy dandy mask. Always blue side out if you're a surgical mask. We can also have a N95 as well. And the next thing is the fun part, the goggles, or in this case, a face shield. So we can also have some fancy surgical goggles. Now the last one is the glove here. Now one of the biggest points and the key point takeaway is the gloves over the ends of the sleeves here for the gown. So we wanna make sure that we're aseptic. We don't want anything leaking into there. If anything gets splashed on us, we want it to be on the outside. Now it's time to doff or basically take things off. So if we're looking at cats, the first things first, we're removing the gloves. So taking those gloves off, then next after the gloves is the face shield or the goggles here. Next thing is the gown. So look closely at Kat's hands here because we wanna maintain aseptic technique. We are trying not to get our hands dirty because they're exposed and keeping it on the inside of the gown. So we're going from the neck area and pulling out there just to perfectly try to keep it clean. And then once we're out of the patient's room, if they have a uh, airborne disease, we're gonna be taking the mask off with some clean hands. 